All right, guys, what's up? Sean Ames here from Heart of America, FPV, and I just shot this 100% live on YouTube, but the problem was outside here, my internet connection just wasn't quite getting here. Um, I keep my uh, Wi-Fi hotspots uh, pretty much as weak or as strong as I absolutely have to, um, just so it doesn't mess with uh, my FPV here at the house. So anyway, um, not good FPV here in the front of the house in the driveway. So I'm doing this again, but I'm not editing this. I'm just literally shooting it on my iPhone um, so I can show you some updates that I did to the camper, just a couple little things. Um, first things first, uh, one of the big questions I had about the trailer um, from the last video was, do I really think my friends would try to lock me in my camper cargo trailer thing? And uh, the answer to that is absolutely 100%. If there's a will, there's a way they're gonna try to lock me in this thing. So what I did, this is the normal latch um, down here that you would use uh, if you wanted to lock the trailer. So um, that would work like this, there it's locked. But so what I did is I bought another one of these hasps off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and so what I can do, once I'm like parked and ready, I can put my padlock here and uh, keep people from being able to lock me in. Um, inside the trailer so I can lock the door, I added one of these. I don't think that's gonna work super well, so I'll probably have to figure something else out. Um, inside the trailer, uh, I put a door there to the little cabinet area. Um, I've got a spot to hang some pop-up gates. Um, I got a lot of the AC electrical stuff ran. Um, I've got an Apple TV installed, so that's cool. Um, got my TV. I got some, uh, some of these straps to where I can... You get it. I can lock it down. I can't do it one-handed. But I've got little eyelets down there and up here where I can uh, secure the TV. Um, this thing over here is uh, an LED light and surge protector and like USB power um, that I installed. I used to use it in my workbench, but that way I've got good light and a spot to work on stuff here in the trailer. Um, another big update, that's my bed packed up over there. Um... I was using this. I built this bench and you guys had seen it. I shared it in a photo where it could fold out and uh, I could put my memory foam mattress on top of it and use it as a bed. I've decided I'm actually going to take all of that out. It's a little disappointing because that's probably like 50 bucks worth of lumber because uh, three quarter inch plywood is not cheap. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to buy a cheap futon. Um, I might buy one new unless I can buy one that's in really good shape used. But um, I'm just going to put a futon in here because then uh, when I want to sleep, I can kind of pull it away from the wall, fold it out, have a nice big bed. Um, when I'm on the go, I can just bungee it down inside of here. Um, once I get somewhere, let's say I'm at IO and we want to hang out at World Cup track and check stuff out, I've literally got a couch with me that uh, I can pull out and we got a spot to sit. <laughs> um, it's completely removable. So if I've got something I need the trailer in trailer form to do, then I can just pull it out super easy. Whereas as of now, that bench is always there. And with the spacing between the bench and the work counter, it's kind of not super usable like that. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you that quick update um, about kind of the latest things I've done. Not a lot. Um, weather's been pretty rough here. It was like zero degrees for a couple of days this week. It's finally up just over freezing. So taking advantage of it. But guys, thanks for checking this out. We'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.